Hey guys, welcome back to BJ Tech News, and this is a uh, comment, a video comment request, I think it is. So, um, one of my episodes, which I posted up not too long ago, uh, close this up, and uh, episode 92, which I showed you guys how to disable the lock screen in Windows 8, but I showed you guys how to do it with group policy. Um, so, what I mean with group policy is uh, I basically told you guys to go into here, do a gpedit.msc, and you get this. But from my understanding, uh, a bunch of people from, you know, have been commenting t with this uh, video, and they've been saying that the gpedit.msc is not working. Uh, I just found out that certain versions of Windows 8 does not work. The gpedit does not work. But uh, the only reason that I'm doing this video is because uh, right here he said what I really want is to disable the lock screen altogether so I want uh, so I haven't uh, used my computer in a while it doesn't go into the lock screen how do I do that cool no problem there's a registry hack uh, that you can do that so what you want to do is let's do a Windows Q command to get to your search and you want to do is get into the reg edit should pick it up right away. This should uh, pop up for all the machines. Right click on it and you want to run it as an administrator. Okay? Hit yes for that. And what you want to do is from here, by default, this should be like this if you haven't touched it. You want to go into a local machine, uh, software, uh, policies. Policies, Microsoft, and I believe Windows. Now I'm actually on my second monitor screen right here and I'm just checking out, making sure everything is working properly. Okay. Now what you want to do is you want to right click here and you want to create a. Uh, blah, 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 blah. You want to create a new key. And the key would be called personalization. Awesome. Now I haven't really tested this registry hack as of yet. Uh, this is something that I picked up real quick online, did a Google search. It looks promising, um, but I do would like to get some feedback from you guys and let me know if this works or not. Uh, next thing you want to do is within the personalization key that you created, you want to create a D word. Uh, so right click here, create new, you want to do a D word 32 bit value. And from my understanding, you want to give it the name of no lock screen. Hit enter. And then you want to set the value of one. Now from my understanding from the notes that I took, uh, make sure it's one uh, to bring the lock screen back. Simply change the value one to zero, and you can also delete the personalization. You can also delete the entire key, and that's it. Uh, that's about it. That's how you disable Windows 8 lock screen uh, via a registry hack. Hopefully, I would like to get someone to test this out and let me know if this actually works or not. Uh, but this is how you do it through registry to the registry rather than group policy. Hopefully this was informative and I catch you guys later. Peace out.